Okay, I cooked the spaghetti squash in the quick cooker, which I didn't even know was a thing until recently, but oh, it's so much easier than cooking it in the oven faster. And the good thing is you don't have to cut it in half when it's still so hard. Um, by the time you cut it in half, it's um, soft and cooked. So other than that, still be in there. Okay. So there we go. Not cut in half very easily. And then I'm going to just get the seeds out. It's still pretty steaming hot. Um, move that out of the way. Move my seed loop and get the all the stuff that needs to come out of the middle out. And then I'm going to use my meat shredders to get the, the spaghetti out. So all together, this makes it a lot faster, easier, and I'm all for that. So the spaghetti squash is a lot healthier than regular spaghetti, of course, the pasta, and actually is quite good. So to save some time on the demo, I'll just go ahead and, and do the getting the spaghetti out of this side, and then I'll come back and get the other one. Um, and then I, I love to use my insulated uh, bowls for this because they do such a good job of keeping it hot, keeping everything hot. I had a friend of mine that uses a, them for her farm. Look at all that. And um, she said she put something in there and three hours later had the workers or her husband or family uh, come in and eat uh, in shifts, of course, and it was still hot, so she's sold on it. I've been sold on them since I first got those insulated bowls, and the, the lid is super cool because it um, just sits up there like that. It has a little tab that holds it. I'm not sure if this is the best demo for, as far as picture, but... So when you're spooning things out of there, uh, the lid just stays up and off the table. You don't have to set it down on the table and take up more space and get stuff all over. So look at how easy that is. And I can tell you this was uh, about almost a three and a half pound spaghetti squash. So it was a little bit on the bigger side. Um, and I'll have that bowl probably filled with spaghetti squash by the time I'm done. You can actually keep spaghetti squash in the refrigerator after it's already cooked like this in this bowl for two to three days. The Instapot depends on the size of the quick cooker as I used um, on how long you cook it. This being a bigger one, I cooked it for, um, let's see, 25 minutes for what I last read was about 25 minutes for over uh, around a three pound or more and then 20 minutes for under. I think next time I'm going to cook it for a little less though because this seems just a tiny bit mushy and it did seem like last time I cooked it I did read where uh, less time it makes it just a little bit more al dente instead of um, quite a little bit less mushy I guess. So I'll cut that back next time for sure. But yeah you can get right down to that skin with this with these meat shredders or the quick shreds what it's called so look how easy that was so I'm done with that side I'm gonna start on the other side and look how much I have in there and I'm gonna put just something like a maybe a light garlic oil over there and I have some chicken tenderloins that I cooked in the grill and griddle there you go how fast was that